Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create viral hooks in DaVinci Resolve 2025. Now we all know the new year is coming up, so what better way to kick off the new year with showing you new year hooks? These hooks are going to simply just level up your edits, and that's pretty much as simple as it's going to get. Now if you guys are new here, then my name is Ryan, and I help other people get better at DaVinci Resolve through free content just like this. But if you wanna edit just like me, then check out the links down in the description below where you can get either mentored by me or check out all my editing packs that I actually use in every single video. Well, Without further ado guys, we're going to hop into this tutorial right now. Okay guys, so a hook is very important when it comes to Instagram Reels because it is the first thing that your, your audience is going to see. So we have to add some sort of effect that's going to catch their eye, whether it's just quick movements or whatever it is, right? So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, unlink my clip that I'm going to do and actually hold options so I can create another clip of it. And essentially what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a clip that my text will go under because I have my head right here, so it'll go under my head. Um, but we're not gonna do that just yet because it can actually tax on your GPU and stuff like that. So you don't wanna do that until like later in the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and do clash display variable as my text and I'm just gonna go ahead and do bold. And so in this video, if you edit, if you edit in, so we'll leave it just like that. So if you edit in, and then I'm gonna hold option and scroll up and I'm gonna do DaVinci Resolve, okay. This time we're gonna do Gotham Ultra as our secondary title um, or we're gonna do Extenda 40 Hecto. I think we're gonna go ahead and roll with this one just because it's more thick. You can kind of see it better, you know. We're gonna make it a little bigger and then we're probably gonna put it like right above my hair. That way we can actually use that. I'm gonna put the if you edit right here. Now essentially what I'm going to do here is double click and create a new compound clip on this if you edit in, okay? Now the reason I'm doing that is because all I'm gonna do is I'm going to now go into the fusion page and I'm gonna go under the media one and hit a transform node right here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this off the page just like so and hit a keyframe and go about 25 to 30 frames down and then we're going to bring it back to normal. Now what we're gonna do under this transform is we're going to turn the quality up, go to your spline and, and I always have this window open so we're gonna hit command A and double click and just go to ease and out cubic. So now if you if play- If you edit in DaVinci, so now it DaVinci Resolve. It goes really slow. If you edit in DaVinci. Just like that, I'm gonna turn this down, it's super loud. So, you edit in DaVinci. Just like that, okay? So now if we wanna make this look a lot better, what we could do, so we're gonna use this cropping method by going to the left, or actually the right, and we're gonna crop the if, so it'll be like, cut it right there, and then now we're gonna uncover you, so you, you edit. and then edit, edit in, in. and then in. So now if you look, play this if back. You edit in if you ed edit in and then we're gonna cut DaVinci Resolve right there, okay? So now, I'm gonna go to the Fusion page under DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna see what some blur is gonna look like around this bad boy. I think I'm gonna add some blur to this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Option and scroll up, and then under this one, I'm just gonna probably go ahead and take the blur off. So that way, now it kinda looks like a glow effect. But what we're gonna do now with this one is create a compound clip, and then we're gonna just simply turn this opacity down. I know you could go and add a glow, but it gives a complete different effect. So now we're just going to create a compound clip under both of these. DaVinci. So now we have that glow. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go to the Fusion page with this compound clip four and do a transform, okay? So shift says for a transform. We're gonna go down on this one just a little bit and go up 10 to 15 frames go back to 0 0.5. We're doing this one a little different, and we're gonna do Command A, ease out cubic, okay? Vinci resolve. So now it's like that small animation, but what we're gonna do this time is we're actually going to now, since this is a compound clip, we're now gonna turn the opacity down as a whole, and then go one, <laughs> two, three, boom, just like that. So now, da Vinci da Vinci and keep in mind, this, this will be behind my head. Um, but another thing we're gonna do is I forgot to add motion blur. It's a pretty big one. 
So don't do not forget to add this mo the motion blur. Into Vinci Resolve. In Resolve. What we're gonna now do is go ahead and go to the effects, and we're going to grab an adjustment layer and put this over top of this whole thing right here, right? And then what we're gonna essentially do is just keep this above like, our whole text sequence right here. We're gonna go to the Fusion page, and this is where the sauce is gonna come. So we're just gonna now go and do a transform, and we're going to zoom in just a little bit. And then we have to do this strategically because if we don't do this right, it's not gonna look any good. So we're gonna set up our curve. I'm gonna mess with my curve just a little bit. All right guys, so now that we have our transform zoom, this is what I ended up putting my graph as, and I did it about 13 frames. So now you edit it does that quick zoom out. So now what I'm gonna think about doing is adding a nice little camera shake going on here. So the reason I wanna add a small camera shake is just because I feel like it would look a lot better. Um, but let's just see if I can add a subtle. If you edit shape. in DaVinci Resolve. It just needs to be like subtle, so like nothing crazy. If you edit in DaVinci Resolve. No, that's that's too much. If you edit in DaVinci Resolve. And then what you need to do is go to the canvases and do a mirror. So that way when it's wiggling if around. If you edit in DaVinci Resolve. If you edit, you edit in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so the reason why we like adding that shake on everything is now because if we see the shake is now adding it to not only the text, but also my footage. So if you edit in DaVinci Resolve, so we just want to make it look a little better by turning up that just a little bit. Um, let's now see if what that you edit in DaVinci Resolve, if you edit in DaVinci Resolve, if you edit in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now if we want, we can keep that shake over the hook to make it look 10 times better. But now what we're going to do is we're gonna grab another text plus. Okay guys, so now we're adding a little bit of a, it's going to be a two piece hook. So as you can see, we have this part as the hook that's already fire. And then we're gonna put me over this so that it looks better. And you are stuck. So now we have the and you are stuck and we keep the shake over. So that way it's shake, the whole thing is shaking. Okay, so now I'm going to create a title sequence. So we're gonna do leveling up as a video editor. We're gonna go into the fusion page with this now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tamper with a lot of different things. So we're gonna first double click in this box and do character level styling. And we're gonna go to the modifiers and we're going to highlight leveling up. And we're gonna go ahead and do extenda 40 hecto. And we're just going to size this up a lot. Then we are going to go back to the edit page actually. And we're just going to do line spacing and just move these as close as possible. All right, so now we're gonna go shift space and add a drop shadow under all of this. Turn up the shadow strength and turn the blur down and then just turn the drop distance as close as possible. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a mask on that and then I'm gonna come up and I'm just going to mask out to where it only affects the leveling up. Now, as you can see, that's what we're looking like now. So now if we go to the shading and we go ahead and do the red outline, we can turn the thickness up just a tad. And then we're going to turn this color to like something that kind of matches like what I'm doing right here. We're going to go to the layout and pull this down like right here. Okay, hey guys, so now I just imported this laptop effect right here. I just think it would look a lot better if I just added that into the background. Now, what we're going to do is go back into the Fusion page with this leveling up and go to the template modifiers once again. And we're going to select this as a video editor only. And we're going to do railway as the title and we're just going to do thin italic and then we're going to actually just size it down and then we're going to add the appearance of an hollow and then we're just going to size it up so that way it's not really outlined like the video editing so now we're going to group these together and create a new compound clip and what we're going to do is go into this compound clip again and do a shift space for a transform and we're going to basically sauce this up. So bring this down, do a keyframe, and go about 26 frames forward, do a 0 0.5, and we're doing the same stuff. So settings, quality on that motion blur, zoom to fit, command A, and then going to the ease and out cubic. So now we have something Video like editor, this. Then. Video editor, then listen. Video editor, then, editor, then, then, then listen. So then now we're gonna go back into this and then go down like so, and then swipe it down. So then now if we go ahead and highlight this, we're just going to hit S and then just smooth it out like that. So, and listen up. so boom, just like that. So now if we throw this on top over the Push shake, up leveling up as a video editor, then listen up. Now for the last thing we're going to do is go to 
the magic zoom, um, just a, a an effect that I had installed. That's free. So. So now we're gonna add a dramatic zoom. So this is pretty much the full hook right here that we had made. In DaVinci Resolve, and you are stuck leveling up as a video editor. Then listen up. Okay, cool. So now, like I said, guys. We're gonna now take this effect right here, and we don't want it above everything. Like we don't want it above these zooms, so we're just gonna do one more above that zoom right there. And we also don't want it above all of this, so we're gonna bring that up like right there. We have to be strategical about this, remember. So we're just gonna bring it about right there, and we're gonna deactivate this and go into the Fusion page with this compound clip one, and we're gonna do Shift Space for a Magic Mask, and all I'm gonna do is go to better and then just simply select the subject, which in this case would be me. Okay, so now it has me selected. We're just gonna do this track back and forth. Okay guys, so after successfully getting it masked out, um, I'm gonna play this step by step so you can see what I'm talking about. So behind this DaVinci Resolve is me, so I'm in front of it, making it seem like a 3D kind of look there. Okay, but we only have it for that one because we don't want me behind these captions and then this one right here as well, because then it would just be behind me, and then they wouldn't be able to see it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. If you guys wanted to add some sort of sound effects, then we can um, by going into the sound effects right here. And I have some pretty cool sound effects. This is like my pack that I have right here. So we have some pretty cool sound effects. Like we could like add this riser right here and turn it down. And then like it'll sound something you like this. Okay, and then also like what we're gonna do here is we can go ahead and grab a swoosh. So that way when it zooms out from the beginning, it looks cool. If you edit so just small miscellaneous things like that. And those are all on the pack as well. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And please check out my packs. And if you are serious about getting mentored by me, I'm actually only taking five people in the month of January to fast track their way from success with video editing. So go ahead and click that link in the bio, fill out the form and book a call with me personally. But without further ado, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I needed wisdom Cause nothing would satisfy my thirst Till I met you by the well